Loaded up. We're over here at Josh Lake's house, as y'all have already seen. I hope y'all enjoyed Gregory Lake RV Park uh, Mud Fest. Guys, we'll be there next month. I think it's like June 20 something at the uh, Mud Mayhem at Gregory Lake RV Park. Up Church is going to be there, guys, and a bunch of the cast members off the new Mud Mad. Yep. Mud Mad. Mud Mad. Okay, sorry. Uh, it's been a long day. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah. A lot of travel, a lot of going here, a lot of doing that, and I still work, so. With, um, with what was going on. Guys, we got a little bit of a new machine, kind of new build going on the 33s, six inch portals. Tomorrow, we're swapping those out for uh, four inch portals. End of the day. Um. So, can keep it kind of lower the ground. It is a trail rig, film rig. All right, y'all, welcome back to yet another vlog. I know I already talked a little bit last night, but we are headed to Muddy Bottoms. So, got the truck fully loaded down. We're about to make like a six and a half hour drive. So, we'll see y'all here shortly. split over here in Memphis a bunch of fun bridges right here I promise you I would know Josh what do you think uh, a little tired ready to be there ready to be there good. Good. Now we're uh, ETA's 1158 to my buddy Aiden's house so we are headed out guys coming through Memphis the Bass Pro the famous Bass Pro that actually fun fact I've actually gone when I was a kid before it was a Bass Pro. It used to be an entertainment center, and I've actually gone and seen Monster Jam in there. So, a little quick little history on me. Yeah, we're about to cross the Mighty Mississippi. I'll pick you up when we're across the Mighty Mississippi. There's Mud Island right there, and uh, there's no mud over there. So, I don't know why they call it Mud Island. I guess it used to be really muddy. Stuff. This is the fun stuff you run into while on the road. You never know. So it's been added an hour onto our drive, but we literally can't see anything right now. So uh, just taking it nice and slow until we get out of this huge rainstorm. We're somewhere in Arkansas. Pick y'all back up here soon. I think we're coming into Little Rock. So hopefully this is past. Hopefully get through Little Rock and. This isn't in Little Rock, so pick y'all back up here soon. As we are over here right outside of Little Rock, we wanted to stop and top off the truck so we could get on through and head on down to Louisiana, meet up with Aiden. Got the I-69 strap is holding us tight. Might need to be tightened up just a hair, but. Uh, got in Louisiana. There's your first like Louisiana line. I missed the uh, welcome to Louisiana, but oh well. We are T minus 55 minutes from Aiden's house. We we're rolling on, but uh, we're not far. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, we can get there, swap these portals around, and get that done pretty quick. And we can head to the park, which the park doesn't open till two. So, uh, <laughs> We are uh, roughly gonna be on schedule. We gotta make a Walmart stop because it would've just been really crowded in here to drive all the way down here with a bunch of food, bread, whatever. Uh, and we gotta get ice for the coolers and gas in the four wheelers, or side by sides, I'm so used to saying four wheelers. We got two side by sides and the four wheelers, so. But yeah, we are uh, about 30 minutes away from Shreveport, so we'll pick y'all up here in a second. Last stop before we hit uh, Aiden's house. We just stopped over here right outside of Shreveport. We're about to get back in the truck and roll on to Shreveport. Roll on through Shreveport to Stonewall. So pick y'all back up when we get to Aiden's house. Supposedly this lake is only like uh, five to like, like the deepest part is like eight foot deep. Really? 
Yeah. Uh, you asked me that last time I came through here too. Is this the Mississippi? She just asked if this was the Mississippi. You realize where we are, right? I'm, I've always wanted to go out there and like rent a boat. Well, that's Aiden's house, I believe. I think we're going around back, but he's on his 350. Dual axle paddles. I think we're going around back though. I'm sure his neighbors love it. I think it's loud. When, <laughs> when did Stokecracker get a four wheeler? It's money, dude. Looking at it. What you been up to? A little bit of a haul between oh, here brother. and old Tennessee, yes, son. Sir. Good little drive. Good little six hour drive. Yes, sir. Got the old 350. We're about to get in here and swap these portals out, y'all. I'll pick y'all up here in a minute. We're at my boy Aiden's house. We got the four post lift in here. Well, technically it's a two post, but you know what I mean. We're about to uh, yank these uh, six inch boxes off there, put fours on there and get on down to uh, Muddy Bottom. So check back with y'all here in a second. I can't tell. <laughs> hey, what we got going on over here? What we got going on? Portal swaps, bud. Por portal swaps? What, what, what kind of portals are we swapping? Four to, to sixes? Yes, sir. Four to sixes. You think it's going to work? You want to you try to line it up on my shaft? Look the same or no? Oh, yeah. It looked the exact same. You going to work? Yes, sir. Little tapity tap. Make sure your gears are lined up. Oh, like a glove, baby. Like a glove. Money, dude. That, what is that? Money, dude. That's money, dude. Yes, sir. We got Stealth Cracker in the house this weekend, y'all. Y'all be sure to check him out. Soggy Bottom Concepts. So the rotors on the uh, P500 would not fit the rotors on the Maverick Sport, so we didn't take that into account. So we are, uh, luckily, my boy Aiden doesn't live far from. Uh, Freeport. We're like literally like 20 minutes away right now, so uh, we're headed there now. Uh, he's gonna spool up the turbo for us real quick. He's got a straight pipe hood stack, turbo 5.3. Five, 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 choo choo choo! Pretty freaking awesome. So I didn't plan on riding with him anywhere, but uh, well, we we're gonna ride at the park. But we're heading to Shreveport right now. We'll pick y'all back up when we get to Super ATV. We just arrived at Super ATV. So Tahoe that we're riding in. So what's up, Aiden? going on brother what's up brother yeah we're about to walk in super tv but yeah hey babe. here's a picture of after we got the four inch portals on and the rear gears are different than the front as we found out got mr harley williams brand new rig over here y'all what you think about it so far Love it. Love it. You love the sportsman life or what? Yeah, it might break. Might break. I don't think it's going to do it. Mine's held up really good. Maybe. I never broke a stock axle till I'll put it on 40, so I think you'll be all right. <laughs> and those, those, are, those are quite a bit smaller than 40s. It's only 30s. So, only we'll, 30s. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, Harley's going to be staying with us in the cabin, so all loaded in here in a minute. We're filling out our waivers, which we did earlier. So. Get paid up. This person's about to pull forward, then we're about to pull forward too, so we'll see you here in a second. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Officially, uh, kind of like day two, I guess you could call it. So, we're over here at uh, Muddy Bottoms here in Surrector, Louisiana, or Spring Hill, however you want to look at it. We got the uh, Dirty Dozen cabin here at Mr. Harley Williams, as y'all seen last night. Got his brand new high lifter, Sportsman 1000, freaking sweet, on a 30 inch Outlaws. Gotta get him some portals here soon, but yeah, here is our um, cabin real quick. I'll give y'all a little peek in there. It's locked, but yeah, there's the cabin. Got the bathroom, shower, all that. But yeah, we're over here right off the lake, and the Maverick looks sweet on them four-inch portals. So still trail worthy, mud rig trail worthy. So. All right, y'all. About to get into. We're about to go to the pro shop, and then we're gonna go red. So, check back with y'all here soon. We're gonna go up in here and check it out real quick. See what kind of shirts and perks they got. See y'all in a second. Check it out in here. Josh found the coolers. They got more stuff in here than last time. They got all kinds of stuff in here, guys. So if you're up here, come by here. Check it out rigs up here. Got a brand new Can-Am. 
couple can amps. Love that Defender. It's got the big step on there. Got the high lifter rear frame stiffener. As y'all seen before, y'all seen me hit this a couple times. I might end up hitting it on my fuller at some point, but uh, that's a bad hole right there. That's the parking lot hole. There's the parking lot hole. We just entered the blue trail. We're gonna go, uh, go see what we can get into. Riding on them 33s, baby. First little baby hole. I know y'all can't see much, but.
deeper than it looks.
Uh, she sat straight down. I don't like anybody. Watch her, watch her. He can only go back so far. Yeah. I pick him up at work all yeah, the time. Wait till you get pinched by a big mother. Jacob, I think every viewer is gonna like and comment this if you let it pinch your nipple. No, we're not pinching nipples, but. <gasps> Come on now. There you go. <laughs> You want him? I'm, I'm great, I'm done. You want him? As a pet? This is our new mascot from hey, Muddy Bottom. Huh? You're not, you're not go to sleep? Yeah, you know, I, I forget how to do that. You learn yeah. something new every day something. on West Tennessee Mutters. <laughs> we could be like an educational channel. All right, what are you about to do? Put him to sleep. You gotta fold his claws underneath him and put his nose down, just like that. And you rub him between his eyes. How long do they go to sleep for? I don't know. Until you wake him up. It depends on how deep you put him in. Okay, okay. We're getting on this side. We're getting a better angle here. We're putting a crawfish to sleep here, y'all. There's some scientific redneck stuff right here. Coonass. No redneck. Coonass. Coonass? I'm a redneck then. I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> Oh, That's, dude, he was, he, he, he was if he wouldn't have moved, second. if he wouldn't have moved. Dude, that is absolutely yeah, wild. Hey, look, check it out. He's sleeping. Look. You put him to sleep. Yeah. Assume the position. Look. And you woke him up just by touching him. Yep. Wild, dude. He's a feisty dude. They're usually not that aggressive. That's how you put him to sleep. Just What's your name? Over. Kyle. Shout out to Kyle for teaching us something new. What you do? I'm gonna hit this hole, see how bad it is. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it in four because nobody's hit it. <laughs> 